Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. All of my source code and video tutorials are located on my website at javacjava.com. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The object of today's tutorial is to teach you the importance of Java source code file names. And this tutorial basically will create a simple source code file and discover what the Java C compiler does when the Java source codes are compiled. Uh, to start off with, we'll go ahead and crack open the command prompt. We'll click on Start Search, type in CMD. Uh, if you're running Windows 7 or earlier, you can go to Start Run, type in CMD. That'll open up our command prompt. We'll type in CD space backslash, which is short for Change Directory, and the backslash is the root. And we'll type in MD Java. And we get this error because we already have that Java folder from a previous tutorial. We'll type in cd space java. We're going to make a directory now called uh, source file name. And we'll go ahead and change directories to that source file name. Type in notepad source file name dot java. Okay. And we're just going to set up a really, really simple, simple class here. opening bracket, closing bracket, everything inside of the opening and closing bracket is what's called a code block. And now we're going to uh, go ahead and put in our main entry point here, main method. One single statement. Um, See what should we go ahead and say here? We'll just do Java source code names do matter. Okay, and we'll go ahead and save this. So basically, what we've got here is we've got our class source file name, uppercase S, F, and N. Java is a case sensitive language, and notice that matches the name of the Java source code file that we created. A Java source code file is also called a compilation unit. And we've got our main method, which is our main entry point. And we've got just a single statement that will display this to the console. Okay, we'll go ahead and type in CLS, which clears the screen. And we'll type in Java C um, source file name dot Java and hit enter. Okay, um, of course we'll return back to the prompt. That means it was successful. It generally looks like nothing happened, but in fact it did. It created the, took the source code file name.java source code file and compiled it into the source file name.class bytecode file. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and execute the source file name class here. and we get exactly what we expected here, okay? So as you can see, this matches the name, and we're all good. We're gonna do a clear screen here. Now let's go in and uh, go ahead and just change this all, for example, to lowercase. Let's save it out. Recompile this. do a directory of it real quick. As you can see, we still have the uppercase source file name, um, and the S and the F and the M on both the class and the Java. And let's try to go ahead and call the source file name class. Let's go ahead and run it. And oh, hey, we get an error. Could not find or load the main class source file name. Let's go ahead and type in Java source file name. And, we, and now it does execute. So basically what we have is we have a class source file name, all lowercase, um, compiled into, well, it's actually in a camel casing is what this is called when you uppercase the first letter of individual words. So we've got a camel cased file name here and with a lowercase matching class. And of course, we also have the bytecode compiled into the same thing here. So 
Um, you can imagine how that would cause confusion down the road. Basically, you know, even though this works just fine, you would have to know that the source file name is all lowercase inside of that. You just, you, you want to adhere to the convention of a file name matching the class name. If you do so, you'll, you'll save yourself significant issues down the road for both yourself and other programmers as well. So we'll go ahead and close out of this, close out of that. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.